Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the, the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing our series of videos with respect to education, information, inspiration, guidance, advice, and I want to tell one more story of Reb Nachum of Stepanesht. Um, it so happened that in a certain city, uh, there was a, a, a man whose piety uh, was so much talked about that the people gave him the by, the by name the pious one, the chassid the pious one. Uh, this person, this pious person, fell ill. And when his family heard that several people were in the town were going to uh, Rabbi Nachum uh, to ask for a, a bracha, to get a blessing, um, his family asked them to mention the pious one, the chassid, the pious one, when they got to the tzaddik, when they got to Rabbi Nachum. Well, the people who were going agreed. And along with the, um, the slips of paper on which they had written their own names, they also asked that Rabbi Nachum, they gave him a slip of paper bearing the name of the sick uh, man and told him that this man uh, was, was famed far and wide as the pious one. Um, he had a very, very austere life. And that's how he got the name, Dachosid, the pious one. Rebbe Nachum commented, I do not know what a pious man is, and I have never learned anything about it from my father either. But I fancy it must have something to do with a kind of cloak. He goes on, he says, this cloak, the material is made of arrogance, the lining of grudges, and it is sewn with the threads of dejection. Um, Rebbe Nachum um, had uh, scant respect for people who are considered pious, overly righteous. The Tanakh says, do not be overly righteous. And this is something that uh, Rebbe Nachum took to heart. We're going to be doing more stories about the uh, Hasidic masters, please come back. Please watch, please learn, and until next time, on behalf of the Immuno Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.